so hi hi hello um so if you can hear noise uh my mom has bought herself herself a robot cleaner like vacuumer uh, so that is that is going around <laughs> in the living room and making a mess cleaning but driving into everything that is possibly yeah going to be driven on so yeah so i have finished the book i have finished the sun is also a star so this one um this is about natasha and daniel and basically uh, natasha is on the verge of being uh, sent back to jamaica and daniel is someone who He's a dreamer, but his parents want him to become something important. So, I don't know what I want to give this. I will say probably like a three stars, just because I don't like Insta Love. This is Insta Love because this is in 24 hours, so it's really Insta Love. And I just, it was okay, it was really easy to read, but it wasn't my favorite thing. One really cool thing is that you basically have, like, you have both Natasha and Danielle, but then you have different people in the universe. This one is for the POC prompt. Here comes the vacuumer. So yeah, the plan for the next two days is to finish two books, which is here. We have A Sky Beyond the Storm and The Girl in the Tower. So I will have to say I have to get 100 pages into this to be able to finish this within three days. So 100 pages into this at least and then possibly like 100 to 200 pages more so i get to page 300 in this possibly just 200 it it really depends on how much i am feeling like reading so that is kind of it for right now i don't have anything more to update on i am just going to watch my tv shows read a little bit more in books and um just get everything that i need to get done done i also need to edit my vlog i don't know might be tomorrow or it should be today but i don't really know when i'm feeling anything so yeah i'm going to go now see what the vacuumer is up to because he apparently is out of battery so let's see if he made it to, to the docking station or not um so yeah i'm going to go now so it's actually thursday so it's the first of december um however we are going to talk about yesterday because i finished both of the books i was supposed to so i finished the girl in the tower and i gave it four stars i really really enjoyed this book and it's a really interesting concept interesting story kind of a retelling so this is the second book in the winter night trilogy first is the baron the nightingale so it's it's pretty much like the same vibes uh, that the first one different like story overall but like same vibes and then let's just take off this one then i also finished a sky beyond the storm give it five stars i loved this um so i will make a spoiler vlog for this that will be out this year i have videos going up every day uh not every day every weekday this entire year just to finish all the like videos that i wanted to do this year 
So we are going to take off the last one. So we have a clean slate, which is great. So super interested. I have so many books to finish this month as well. I just think that I am going to slow down a little and um, not like 100% care about how many books I'm reading this month because I'm starting to get a little tired of reading so much. But yeah, I'm going to go. I have because I have not started anything. I don't know what I want to start yet. So we will just have to see how everything is going to go. So yeah. So it's Sunday and I'm going to end the vlog. Um now I just I have not talked about this yet, uh, but I have decided that December will basically be, you know, my relaxing month. Like, I will not be stressing, stress reading, let's call it that. I will not be stressing to read. Uh, I do have some, uh, you know, books that I need to read for videos but I will try and not stress so it's the fourth and I have not finished a book yet I have started one I just I think I just need a slow month where I'm not reading 25 books you know because sometimes listen to your body I want to say that if you don't want to read many books then don't don't stress uh, because I am just wanting to relax and just be calm and not have to do a lot of things. So I have started Scythe. Um, this Arc of Scythe is this series. I have a plan on reading four books, like the four books. We have Scythe, you have Thunderhead, The Toll, and then you have Gleanings, which is the like short stories so I will read all of these there will be a video out on the 16th with that so other than that you know I have all the videos that are coming out will basically be like videos that I have done before so this is just finished before the 16th you know so I am on page 186. So far I am really liking this. It's really interesting and yeah. Definitely something I'm going to continue on with. I have heard that people like I think it's Thunderhead people like the most and the toll the least. I have not yet heard a lot of things about uh, gleanings yet because that just came out. But yeah, this is the series I am starting with, that I am going to continue on with, possibly during the next few, especially like during next week, I think. And then starting something new. So, yeah, just because I don't feel like reading 300 pages, over 300 pages, almost 400 pages a day, I just don't feel like doing that this month. And, you know... Later on, you will definitely hear new rules for my board and things like that. And then you will see my new kind of version of the board, which will be... I will say it will possibly be much simpler for me to not stress reading. Which I have sometimes really done, where I am like just finishing all the books that I put out for myself to read that month, so... Let's wrap up with the books and not books with the movies and TV shows that I have watched this month. No, this week. So let's talk about the movies first, which we always do. So I started a week with the Sword in the Stone. This is a Disney movie, and I liked it well enough. Enough. I mean, I have to say that a lot of the Disney movies that I am loving are usually my like the ones that I watched as a children. I do love those. I'm liking the other ones 
well enough, but they aren't like my favorite thing. So I'm liking it. Then uh, I watched a Studio Ghibli movie called uh, Whisper of the Heart, and this was super super cute and I have to say it's a little weird that the main character is 14 and um, yeah but overall it was super super cute and this couple are really really cute but the couple I mean that is what's strange that she's I think she is 14 and I just find it a little strange but I mean it's another culture so I can't say anything about the culture but you know as a Norwegian it's a little weird to see 14 year olds being that in love but I mean yeah I mean one of the cutest things was that when I grow when I get older I'm gonna ask you to marry me that was really cute but it's really strange that she's only 14 and she was just like yes and I'm like, when I was 14, I definitely didn't thought, think about marriage, but I'm gonna let it slide because it was really, really cute. Then I watched uh, Rogue One and I liked it. Uh, so this is a Star Wars in the Star Wars universe and I'm liking Star Wars. Uh, it's just some of it is a little slow and yeah, but overall I am liking it. You know, it's... An interesting universe and then I watched Barbie off Swan Lake and we have been talking about Barbies are like Barbie movies are not my favorite thing I think this is a better one for me I have watched some that I have not liked at all I'm liking this more Then I watched Dance Out with Wolves. Uh, I am really liking this. It's. I think that it's informative. Let's call it that. It's informative if you don't want to kind of watch a movie that is like facts only facts you know like a documentary if you want to watch something that is fiction I think this is a good like informative movie where you kind of I don't know how to explain it because yeah I think you get some information without you know have having to watch a documentary if that is not your style Overall, you know, documentaries are much more, you know, if you want to watch, I don't know, Indians? No. Um, what's the name? Um, indigenous people. In the, in America, if you don't want to watch a documentary, I think that this is a good, that gives you some information, but still fiction. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Then I watched The Empire Strikes Back. So this is the first movie in the second era, which was basically the first era that was filmed. So I have to say for this to being filmed on the... Is it 80s? Is really good. Then uh, today I will watch Fast Five. And the reason why I am able to wrap up this... I know that I like Fast Five well enough, but I also know that it's not my, like, from now on, these are not my favorite movies, because it's just, I watched it for Cars, and this is, like, after this, I feel like it's much more, much less, like, driving, driving. But overall, I like them. I mean, they are not like favorite, super well done movies. Let's call it that. They are not. They are. They are entertaining. So, let's talk TV shows. That was. I have watched one more. Um, I watched um, Asterix and Obelix, Mission Cleopatra. I watched that one two months ago, but I watched it with my family in Norwegian just because. 
the names in this in Norwegian are they have just made up like like really funny names overall so I'm really really loving this and um, it's definitely something that if I am going to watch movies with you know friends this is something that I can recommend because I think that some of my friends will get a humor not all of them yeah let's talk about tv shows so um i am still watching white collar i am on season i think i'm on season three so it's going well i'm liking it i have watched everything but i'm just going to rewatch it to see yeah how i'm liking it again and to get it into TV time and um, I mean I could just say I have watched everything but I'm just liking that I'm watching it again and seeing how I like it the second time around. Then I am still watching Heartland. I am on season 9. I will finish season 9 today so that's great. It will be really really good and then we will start on season 10 and I have 5 seasons left. So watching three every day will make it so that i will finish this within the year not finish it because i can't watch season 16 yet but still i am enjoying it some people are still annoying me some people are growing on me and uh, yeah then i am finishing up the clone wars i have one episode left and it's probably going to be heartbreaking um because we have gotten the clone wars mixed up with you know the end of um the sith strikes back no not the sith strikes back um revenge of the sith the terror so revenge of the sith and the clone wars are caught in kind of you know merging together in some sort of way so this one is set after darth vader was created and put into his suit so yeah then i am watching attack on titan it's starting to build up again i just feel like the beginning of season four i was totally confused had no idea what was going on and now it's better and interesting and i have no idea what is actually happening then i am watching free rain and this is kind of me watching season one and two just to finish up with season three now this is not my favorite horse show thing just because i don't know it's just a little childish at times and you have all the drama that always horse shows have and it's a little boring at times but I'm liking it and we are now on season two we will finish this one like within I don't know two three weeks so yeah but overall I'm liking it it's an okay show that you know I am watching so it's not totally horrible because then I would have stopped then I am on season I think I'm on season three now I do believe that uh, on C and this will finish up the season I have I think I'm going to watch the second episode today so we are we're doing fine with this it's not like a new favorite show but it's really really good and the like the way of filming is beautiful done at times you know the nature is so pretty so yeah then i am watching gossip girl it's a little boring i am going to have to say that it's not my favorite thing it's a lot of drama and a lot of people being stupid but i mean chuck is growing on me still so 
Then I am watching still When Calls the Heart, uh, Jack is Back, which is just great. We are on season five or four. Uh, it might be season four or five. I cannot remember. Um, so let's see. We are on season five. So yeah, it's good. I'm liking it. So let's see what else we got because we have been watching other things. Um, so I have started watching three Norwegian shows. I don't think that you are able to see these other than in Norway. Uh, first two ones is kind of in Norway we have this Christmas calendar TV shows and these two I used to watch as a child so it's basically Christmas in Blue Mountain or something, Julebloffjell, and Christmas on the Moon Top, which is Julepo uh, Monotopen. And these are two that I have been watching since I was a child, and I am. These are basically real fun for me as a child, and I am still watching them, still liking them. You know, they are not super great great quality let's call it that they were made in like the 90s so they are not the best but i am really loving them and then um brothers doll um basically this one is called professor drevels hemliet like professor like uh i don't know what travel is uh secret so this is basically it's just this is not a serious one. This is just like, let's just do every single like weird thing. So you are laughing the whole time and nothing makes sense. Then I think this might be the last one. I have started watching H2O, just add water. So, you know, this TV show, is I used to watch it when I was younger, used to love it. It's still, I mean, it's still a lot of fun, but it's still, it's weird. And, you know, it's just like a little weird. So now I've been talking for a long, long, long time. So this vlog will be really long for the ending. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you like this. I will see you next time for another video. Bye.